Welcome to my Terry Joe's on the Go series. This is part two of my Rehoboth Beach vlog. If you enjoy the video, please hit like and subscribe. Good morning, YouTubers. This is Terry Joe coming to you from Rehoboth Beach, Delaware. And we are on Rehoboth Avenue right at the boardwalk. The boardwalk was originally built in 1873. I would imagine it's going to go on a couple of generations uh, since then. This is the pavilion, and they often have live performances in the evening. I tell you, you can't get a bad meal on Rehoboth. The shopping is wonderful. You have the boutiques and other really neat shops in downtown Rehoboth. Then you have the outlets on the outskirts of downtown. Still Rehoboth Beach, but it's along the Route 1, which is the highway. This is the Boardwalk Plaza Hotel. It's one of the more fancy, dancy places to stay in Rehoboth Beach. In the 1990s, my brother Tom and I had a friend. We'll call him Mr. T. And this was Mr. T's favorite place to be. He would often play Tom and I to stay with him. And this is a very nice hotel, but it is equally expensive. There it is, my friends, the staple of Italian dining in Delaware, Grotto Pizza. There are several locations in Rehoboth Beach, and there's two different types of people in this world, Grotto lovers and Nicola pizza lovers. I personally prefer Nicola. There's Dolly's. Another staple for Hope and Beach. And there, of course, is the Candy Kitchen. The Candy Kitchen has been here the entire time I've been coming to Rehoboth. Now, the boardwalk, of course, it's smaller. And there are rides in Funland. They're mostly geared uh, for little kids. We are about 30 minutes from Motion City, Merlin, and they have a huge boardwalk. It's definitely comparable to the boardwalk in Wildwood, New Jersey. For anyone that's not been to Ocean City, Merlin, or Wildwood, New Jersey, my goodness, I don't, I don't even know how big their boardwalks are, but they're huge, and there's piers with all the rides that one can think of. Now, someone like me rides I'm not one to go on rides, especially roller coasters. This is Gus's. This place does an incredible business. Now, right now, the weather's not ideal, but it's not unusual for the line <laughs> to run this span of the boardwalk. And they've got really good food. I mean, they're a grease spoon, but they're a good grease spoon. Got the green turtle. I wanted to get up on the boardwalk before it got too busy. A lot has changed over the years, but one thing that has remained the same is this place right here. Carlton's is a clothing store. It opened in 1960. It used to be a hotel. This is new. One of the things about Rehoboth Beach, guys, every year when I come down, there's something new. Salty Paul's, I think they were there last year. This place here is definitely new. And that's what I like about Rehoboth. Well, there's so many things I like but it keeps it interesting. And if you haven't noticed, it is a rainy day in Rehoboth. But we do vlogs here at Terry Joe's On The Go. Rain, sun, or shine. There you go. 
doing and there's another grotto's pizza Archie's homemade ice cream I think that has been there for a while Rehoboth Avenue is an extension of our boardwalk. There's so many neat shops and restaurants running up and down Rehoboth Avenue. And of course, Rehoboth Avenue leads to Route 1, the uh, Coastal Highway. And there are multiple outlets on the Coastal Highway. The outlets were built in the early 1990s. And if you enjoy shopping, you would love the outlets in Rehoboth. Every store that you can imagine. It, you'd be hard pressed not to find a store that you like at the outlets. This is also relatively new, Black Wall Hitch. Another staple of the Hobbit is the Robin Hood Diner. This place serves breakfast all day. This place has been here for years. It recently changed its facade. And there's another sensation. And of course, Snyder's Candy. Love their jelly beans. Anyone who enjoys sunglasses, that's the spot. A lot has changed in Rehoboth over the years. We're looking at First Street Station. And this, of course, is the intersection of First Street and Rehoboth Avenue. Prime real estate in Rehoboth Beach. Yet when I started coming here in 1994, this section here was a bike rental business. Essentially, an empty lot. Within the past five years, they built these buildings here. It used to be a coffee shop. I believe it was called the Dream Cafe. And there were steps leading down and you would go and sit in a coffee shop. But they tore the coffee shop down and opened these three stores here. A kite store, tour made coffee tasty treats. Beach accessories with henna tattoos. Tudor Browns that used to be Hooters. All of this was an empty lot. They utilized prime real estate a bike rental business and it would be cornered off by a chain link and you would come here and rent a bike we are now on first street and this is the original nicola pizza this is a fabulous italian restaurant and they have wonderful pizza we're at the corner of baltimore avenue and first street this used to be Jake's Seafood Restaurant. About two years ago, it changed the Steaming Blues Crab House. And it, it's great seafood, but I love Jake's. And they still have a Jake's Seafood up on uh, Route 1. This is the view between Baltimore and Rehoboth Avenue.
give you an idea of how popular Nicola's is, several years ago, they built a second restaurant to accommodate their many patrons. We're right around the corner from the original Nicola's. Just a half block away, my friends. And that's a lot of pizza lovers. That is the first anchor. It's at First Street and Rehoboth Avenue. It used to be McDonald's. That's right. We used to have a Mickey D's in the heart of Rehoboth Beach. But it's not been there for at least 10 years. And there's the Rehoboth Bookstore. Village by the Sea. A good old sandcastle motel. Well, that'll be it for today's video. Thanks so much for stopping by.